I teach AP Calculus BC Geometry. I teach Statistics, both AP and Honors. Last year I taught Topics, but uh, class is not running this year. I began as an undergraduate at the University of Kansas. After I got done with undergraduate in mathematics, I wasn't really sure what to do, so I went to graduate school to get my master's in mathematics, and that's when I taught for the first time. What you're really looking for is constant squared minus variable squared underneath some kind of power, whether it be the number or not. But then when I started teaching, I really, really liked teaching. So, I thought at that time that I would be a college professor, and the way to be a college professor in mathematics is to go ahead and get your, your PhD and do all, all the degrees. I applied to different colleges, community colleges, universities, and also some independent schools. Barstow called me, and I came out to interview, and by the second interview I decided this is where I wanted to be, and I've been really happy ever since. Then how do we finish? <laughs> Take the U equals, U equals the bottom. Traditionally, to get a, a PhD in any field, not just mathematics, you have to come up with original work. And in mathematics, that means original research, specifically uh, an original theorem, or an idea, or something that nobody else has done before in mathematics. Eventually, I did produce something novel. Public schools were never really um, on my radar because I don't have an education degree nor a certificate for teaching. I remember very clearly the first faculty members that I met at the Barstow School were on my second interview, and they had a real passion for what they did here. They weren't just, you know, they, they didn't know me at all, and they didn't especially need to have me be hired, but they spoke to me about how much they loved their work here, and it was completely genuine. Academically, for many universities and colleges, we're getting you ready for your sophomore or junior year, your freshman year you've been ready for for several grades now if you're in upper school. Uh, but we do better than that. We have top-rate teachers of academics and we have amazing, brilliant people who get students ready for the academics of college. Uh, one thing that I'm very proud of is we also speak to students developing the character, tenacity, grit, uh, resiliency. These are all words that we use as faculty with each other when we talk about what we want from students and that's a great thing. If all we did was try to get students to pass the APs with a 5 or get a certain GPA or build the perfect academic resume, uh, that'd be fine but not very fulfilling. The fact that we're trying to build better people, <laughs> if, I can, if I can say something like that, is uh, much more rewarding.